Greetings YouTube friends. This is Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple apple crisp. Um, I had some apples that were kind of going, you know, getting soft and I don't like to let anything go to waste. So I thought I'm going to make an apple crisp with this. I hope that um, this video finds you all well and that you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We certainly did. We had a house full. We usually do by the time our children bring their spouses and their girlfriends and their friends. We probably had over 30, 30, 35 people. It was a blast. We played all kinds of fun games. We usually do. We got to catch up and just visit. I hope that you were able to do the same. I think Thanksgiving is a time to give thanks for our friends and family and just spend time together. And I hope that you were all able to do that as well. But, uh, Huh. After being, you know, busy the last few days um, preparing dishes for um, Thanksgiving, um, it was kind of nice to just rest yesterday. I go ahead and prepare, you know, days before and freeze and put things in the refrigerator so that on Thanksgiving I can, you know, enjoy the family and not have to be going crazy in the kitchen. I started that um, because years ago I used to just do everything the day of and it was crazy. So I've decided um, to start ahead of time, which I highly recommend if you don't do it that way. It made for such a lovely day. But anyway, I have these apples soaking in lemon juice and water just so that they don't turn colors because they will turn brown so quickly if you do not. So this is about six or seven apples. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these now. I'm gonna drain them, I should say. I'm not really gonna rinse them. A little bit of lemon isn't going to hurt the taste at all. So I'm going to add these to a bowl. A couple still have a little core on there. I'm going to chop off real quick. Okay. Okay. And to this I'm going to add three tablespoons of sugar. Just kind of sprinkle that on. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. I like to add a little bit more than a teaspoon, so I'm going to add two. I love the taste of cinnamon, and especially cinnamon and apples. So I'm going to add a couple teaspoons just because I love it. You don't have to. Um, and then just a dash of nutmeg. Guys, nutmeg is one of those things that is absolutely over the top. If you have not ever had nutmeg, just a dash, <laughs> on your potatoes, mashed potatoes, it is simply amazing with butter nutmeg it is delicious you have to give it a try okay and just a fourth of a teaspoon of salt just to kind of bring out the flavors okay so now I'm going to mix this I'm going to mix that all up so that the apples are incorporated with the cinnamon and the sugar and you want to have a uh, baking dish already um, greased a little bit just so that the apples don't stick. But anyway, we played catchphrase, which is one of our favorites to play with the big group, and it was hilarious. Boys against the girls, and then we mixed it up, and oh, it was just so much fun. Okay, I've got these all mixed in, so I'm going to dump them in the dish like so. Look at that. Oh, the cinnamon smells amazing. That's why I always like to add a little bit extra. Oh, okay. I think I will use this dish. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I'm going to cut four um, tablespoons of butter. Four tablespoons of butter into tiny little, you know, crumbles. Because we're going to crumble that over the top. So you want to cut it fairly small, kind of how you cube it when you're making biscuits and pie crust, just making cold butter into little cubes. And we're going to add that to the oats and the brown sugar and flour, and we're going to make a topping. If you have never made an apple crisp, I highly recommend it. It's delicious with vanilla ice cream <laughs> my husband's favorite okay so to this I'm going to add a half a cup of brown sugar now is this a half a cup no okay 
a little bit more. Love it sweet. <laughs> okay, we're gonna mix that in and then I'm gonna add a third cup of flour. We had turkey and ham yesterday just because we had such a big group. We started off where we were just gonna have, um, this lid does it to me every time. There we go. We were just gonna have um, turkey, but we realized the turkey probably would not have been enough with as many people as we had. So we decided to add the ham, and um, we had some friends that brought um, fruit salad, we had a cobbler, we had um, pumpkin and pecan pies, we had a pumpkin roll, um, and let's see, what else did we have? There were so many sweets, and there were so many dishes, so many different uh, varieties, cheesy potatoes, we of course had green bean casserole, our, um, our corn um, dishes that I showed you, um, so, oh my goodness, way too much food. <laughs> okay, to that I'm going to add a half a cup of oats. Getting carried away here, not concentrating. Okay, and then just a little bit more of the salt. Again, just to bring out the flavors. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to kind of use our fingers and just crumble it up make it like little crumbs, kind of like when you're making pie crust from scratch with a um, pastry cutter. Um, you can also just kind of do it with your fingers. And so this butter is going to incorporate into all of this and it's just gonna make crumbs. So you can also do this in the food processor, which I've done before, but I decided instead of making all the noise, I would just do it like this Okay, we're excited because tomorrow, um, Gary and Cindy Cargill from Pathway Homestead are coming to visit. And so we are just so excited, um, just love the homesteading community and meeting new people. And they are coming to visit with us for a few hours and we're gonna have a meal together. So that is so exciting. Okay, I think I got it nice and crumbled. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle it over the top Oh boy, if you could smell this. One of these days we may have where you can smell <laughs> at the same time as watching. So not just watch, but you can smell. And wouldn't it be amazing if you could taste? Who knows? <laughs> we can dream, can't we? Okay, I've got this all done. And now I'm going to stick it in the oven, 350 for 50 minutes. And I will bring you back when it is a bubbly, yummy dessert. Okay guys. It's done, it smells amazing. The apples are nice and soft. The topping is yummy. It is going to be absolutely delicious. I hope that you will give it a try. It's so simple. If you've got apples that are going bad, are getting soft and no one wants to eat them, if you're not gonna make apple butter with them, why not make an apple crisp? Because it doesn't really matter if the apples are soft because you're going to bake them and they're going to get soft anyway. And what's better than adding brown sugar and cinnamon and all that yummy stuff with it and making a dessert. So anyway, that's what I needed to do. I had apples that were going bad, so I thought, well, let me just make a dessert. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If so, tell a friend to help us grow our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Push that like button, give us a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, God bless you.